Welcome to the 2013 Fair Energy Bowl. My name is Allison Avery. I live in Tampa and I'm a sophomore at Elon University in North Carolina. I also have a progressive neuromuscular condition called Friedrich's ataxia. And I'm Todd Lywicki. For the third year in a row, the honorary chair of the Fair Energy Bowl. I'm also CEO of the Tampa Bay Lightning and CEO of the Tampa Bay Times Forum. When I was considering colleges, I had a choice between staying close to home or going where I really wanted to be, even if that place was unknown and more challenging. I always promised myself to never let FA keep me from exploring new places, meeting new people, and achieving my goals, so I chose an out-of-state college. When I met Allison's parents over two years ago, it was that same determined spirit that drew me to Faro. I was struck by their unrelenting pursuit of research, progress, and their commitment to improving not only the lives of their children, but the lives of literally thousands of others. Parent to parent, I was moved to be a part of this effort. This summer, during a camping retreat in Indiana, the FAIR team sat down with a group of young ladies from around the country to talk about their lives and the challenges of living with FA. Like these women, I live with the physical effects of FA like energy deprivation, loss of balance, and compromised mobility. Living with the FA also pushes you to seek friends who don't judge you by the way you walk, who like you for who you are, and who don't mind being a steady arm for you to hold on to when you need it. These young people inspire us in the face of challenges in our own lives with sensitivity, perseverance, and courage. October 12th, 2009. That's when she got that, that was her diagnosis. I got the phone call. When they call you, it's like all they really do is th they throw every, all the ugly right on your lap over the phone. This is what's going to happen. Yeah, how do you tell your eight-year-old that she just lost her childhood? September 16th, I still remember the date. Um, so we were up there probably for about an hour and a half or two hours that day, and they told Gave us. us gave us the news, yeah. You know, uh, when they first told me, I didn't really know what it would be like or what it was, or I'd never met anyone with FA, and I just kind of thought I was the only one. Tom and I have three girls, and we have our oldest daughter is 35, and then our next daughter is 31, and the youngest is 30, and the two younger ones um, have FA. I kind of hid in my house and yeah, it was hard. It's a big learning process. I mean, being diagnosed, you find out everything about yourself. Um, so as far as your strengths and your weaknesses, I feel like it's all magnified once you're diagnosed with FA. There's so many things that I think I would change. Um, maybe just sometimes I would not be so tired. Yeah, we take every day and make every day a good day is what we do. It just makes you realize that every day needs to be lived fully. Um, there are things we can change and things we can't change. And you just have to, like Rick said, you have to get up each day and think, we can make this a good day and go from there. Feels She's good. got a good attitude. She's got a lot of friends. That are very supportive. Yeah, they help, help her out and I stuff. Mean, yeah, they've always got an arm up for her. Uh, she didn't want to talk about it. And so those years of isolation uh, was so hard on the family because you want to be there for them, but you don't know what to do. The scientist has said, hey, we can get it. We can find the treatment or the cure. And if we can help this little bunch, it can help many others with other diseases. So we're actually in our second trial right now. Um, so j just having the opportunity to be um, advancing anything with FA is very exciting. Once that first drug, I think, is out there for a treatment, um, that maybe can just keep the progression down. To me, that's just going to be an amazing day for our group. We want to keep her strong and keep her on her feet forever and ever and ever. I want to keep her forever. 
We're so close. We just need the last push to get it done. My daughter wants me to walk. <laughs> she keeps asking about my walking drugs and why I don't have them yet. So I need, I need a cure for my daughter just so I can go for a walk with her. I think that'd be nice. Get involved in something bigger than yourself. Get involved in something that will just make a difference. Help us cross the finish line. Be a part of the cure. On behalf of all families living with FA, thank you for your part in raising awareness and over five million for FARA Research and the USF Ataxia Research Center. We are so thankful for the many friends and supporters from all over the country who come to the FARA Energy Ball each year. And our efforts are producing results. Just this past year, we helped over 650 patients be a part of FA Research. There are four new treatment trials and there are solid data in stem cell and gene therapies driving us towards the goal of eliminating this disease. Your generosity at this event is another steady arm for me and so many others to hold. Your support affairs work gives me hope and faith that we are going to get treatments and a cure for FA real soon, just like my mom and dad say. Thank you and welcome to the 2013 Fair Energy Ball. I'm very excited to tell Ron and Jennifer Farmer and Valicia that you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would be a dream come true. Just to be like, you're done. You're fired. Go find something else to do because it's done. We're done. It'd be nice to be done.